Hello everyone and welcome back. Just getting the last few things put away here that were left from fishing. Getting things cleaned up a little bit. Supposed to get to 43 degrees today. It was supposed to get up to 40 yesterday or 38 or something. Stayed cloudy all day. The sun was supposed to come out. It was foggy, misty, and it didn't get above freezing. It was like right there at 32 degrees or, you know, 31 to 32. Now the sun is trying to break out today, so hopefully it will. Melissa's in there making, I think she's making homemade pizzas for lunch with sourdough crust. And this afternoon I want to get out there and tap some maple trees. is in there doing those pizzas. I tried to film them because they're just about ready to go in the oven, but my camera lens fogged up because of the uh, because it's been outside for so long. Might as well get this stuff ready. A couple of those boxes that I brought in here, Blue Eddy has a new product. It's like a double product. But, huh, these are, they don't have a name on them. And they're a lot more clear than the other ones were. Hmm, they weren't any cheaper. Are they the same company? Yeah, they are. Anyway, that's, I'm going to take that apart. Not in this video, take it apart though, outside of videos and check it out and then eventually, I think that campaign is somewhere around the middle to the end of the month, I can't remember what my email said, but I'm kind of excited because it's one that we're going to definitely use, and uh, I was hoping I could get it when they did it last time, but then I couldn't, and now they contacted me, it's like, oh yeah, send it out. I enjoy doing those. I really do when it's something that I like. I'm trying to figure out why they changed it. I mean, they took their logo off of it. I bet you they found a way to make it cheaper. Probably thinner plastic or something on there. I don't know. I like doing it this way much better than with the buckets, though. Last night I boiled all of my taps. Now they don't look much clean, but they, they're boiled. Eleven sixteenths, fifteen sixteenths, what's this one? Seven sixteenths, ooh that thing looks... I think I'll go in and see how lunch is coming. Melissa was kind of frustrated that Dole did not want to really cooperate with her. It was sticking to everything today. But when I left, she had was preheating the oven. The first pizza was already made, the homemade one, just not in the oven yet, and the other one she was working on. That sun is trying to burn through.
I think that was the best tasting pizza I ever had. That was really, really good. Let's get out there and find some maple trees. I have some nice maple trees back there, but since we only have 10, we might as well keep it easy. That one right there looks pretty good. I've tapped this one a couple times before, but I don't think this one produces all that much. So I think we're going to continue on a little ways here. I had really good luck back here. Two years ago I didn't come back here last year because the snow was so deep and I don't have a trail cut in here but with the four-wheeler I can just drive in here but with the snowmobile I couldn't. So I think we're going to tap quite a few of these. They're all running, but they're running kind of slow. I see I have a couple of real nice ones. Let's see, where are we? Right over in there. But I don't have a trail that goes over there, and I've got plenty of other trees. I could tap more in here too, but they're just a little bit on the small side. So let's go on down the trail. Lots of maples in here that I've been watching for a few years now. There's actually a couple in there now that I could probably tap, but I'm just going to leave them be.
got one more left. I drilled this one, but I went in, I tried to go in about two inches, got in about that inch and a half, a little bit more, and boom, it went in. So this has got some rot in the middle of it, still running out, but once I put that thing in there, it'll be easier for it to run backwards than forwards. So then I just switched it to this one right here, and this one seemed to be running pretty good. And that's all I have for right now. You guys enjoying this warmer weather? They sure been laying good eggs all winter. Good morning everybody. It got down to 19 degrees last night. Now it's about a quarter to 11 and it's up to 35 already. I think it's going for like 43. I want to bring a couple loads of this over by the boiler. I don't see any reason to burn the stuff that's in the shed. When I've got this and I can just dump it over there and uh, as it gets warmer the tractor will start ripping up the yard so just going to do a couple loads this morning.
I wonder if this is working any better now that it's warmed up a little bit. Definitely not any better. <laughs> I'm going to take some pictures of this and send it to my Uncle Matt because Uncle Matt knows everything that there is to know about small engines and log splitters. So, I will send that to him and then order whatever I have to order. You can see it's still leaking fluid out of this thing. I don't understand it. So, and when you go through here, look at all the bubbles in there. I should take a picture of that also. Go in and have some lunch. This afternoon I have to go into Duluth and stuff. So when I get back then, I can run out and see how those trees were running. But until then, I'm gonna be pretty busy. I got little Annie out here. We're just gonna run the loop. I'm not gonna collect right now, but I wanna see how it ran today. Looks like that one has maybe two and a half inches in it only. Looks like it's still pretty slow. That one's got the most. That one on the left over there has the most of those three. And that one over there has about four inches in the bottom. What do you think, Annie? Huh? Let's go. at all happening right there. I was thinking about tapping a bunch more but I'm worried since we didn't get very much snow I'm really worried that it could damage the trees possibly. I have no idea how that works but so I'm still debating on that. see into that one by the looks of the bottom though. Looks like there's only a couple inches in that one. I think there's one more up here. That one looks about the same. Far from being full. 
You ready to go home, Annie? <laughs> All kind of new smells out here for her. Good morning, everybody. Right now I'm heading to Menards in Duluth. I've, when Melissa leaves on this Saturday for Louisiana, I want to get out there and do some taping in the guest house. And if I'm doing the ceiling, I can't stand doing it with that little holder thing that I have. I'm used to doing it where the mud is, it's got like the handle underneath it and you've got the metal square on top because then when it drips down from the ceiling, you have half a chance of catching it. So I'm gonna pick up one of them, and then, since it's Tuesday, Melissa and I are gonna go to Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm gonna take her out for lunch. Since she's gonna be gone next week, we'll probably go out Friday too, we'll see, but that's what I'm doing this morning. I went to Menards, we just got done at Buffalo Wild Wings. Now I'm gonna head back home. That's the following day. I didn't even go out and check the sap and stuff yesterday. It didn't even get below freezing. It got to 32 degrees overnight, but I wanna check it now before lunch. Had a bunch of running to do this morning. There is like a 70 some percent chance of rain, a little bit coming today and a 78% chance tomorrow. So I brought the battery station back into the fish house so it doesn't get wet. Well, I got that in here and then that power converter and I brought the solar panel in. I'm just gonna run the trail right now to see if I'm gonna have to wash a couple buckets to collect today or, or what. And now we have a few days that are gonna be warmer and then we're gonna drop down and I, it's not gonna be getting above freezing. So that's gonna stop the flow. <laughs> Well, that one gained a little bit. Probably has four and a half inches in it. Slow drip today. That one's looking pretty good. That one over there, the back one's half full. The other one has maybe four inches. The other one has maybe eight inches. Big old maple isn't doing much. None of them are full, but slowly dripping. We'll see what we get. I don't think it's gonna get all that cold tonight. I'll have to check. This is pretty much how today has been. It rained, I had some stuff to do this morning and it was raining and then it did get up, uh, let up for a little bit. And I went out there and I got one tank of fuel through the chainsaw cutting on that back pile on that oak. And by the time I was done, it was raining pretty hard. I was wet. And then I did this whole video. I mean, in the evenings like this, now Melissa just got home and she's packing cause she leaves. I, th I think she's leaving tomorrow night, if not Saturday morning, but I'm pretty sure tomorrow night. So we're getting everything ready and and then she'll be gone for the whole next week. Good morning, everybody. I didn't film anything yesterday. Melissa left for Louisiana last night. She is in Iowa right now. She's just getting into her car after her night in the hotel with Annie. 
and I just let the dogs out. You can see that the rain we were having turned to snow and we got a little bit of a dusting. And right now it's 16 degrees outside. I'm turning up the heat in here. And I'm going to take George's old four-wheeler and we're going to go run out and look at that sap out there. I mean, 16 degrees this morning, so they might be just frozen balls or whatever, but I think I'm going to have to pull them. We do have three days that are going to get to like 31, 32, and 34 this week. But otherwise, it's just going to be cold. And then by the end of the month, you know, I'm getting close to surgery. It's going to get cold again. They're saying that the warm is over for this, the El Nino or El Nino, whatever. I think we were, we were in El Nino. I don't know. So anyway, I want to look because once I have surgery, I'm not going to be able to do it anymore. So do I pull everything? Do I wait until Wednesday? But I want to see what's out there right now. And if it's a small amount, I'm just going to boil it on the stove in the kitchen. And uh, maybe I can get a pint out of it or a half pint or something. Anyway, we're going to run out there and take a peek. Let's see if I can remember how to run this thing. That's pretty solid in there. I got quite a bit back here, but it's going to have to be pulled and thawed. I never thought about it before like usually if you have some on top of you know in a pail and the top part of the uh, pail freezes you just take that and toss it because that's just water but when it gets down to 15 16 degrees that night the whole works is going to freeze it's not like sugar doesn't freeze it just freezes at a higher temp or a lower temp huh I suppose I'm gonna, I should grab the trailer today and then just haul these into the workshop. Should be easy enough to haul. I don't know why they do so good back here compared to some other places. Now that is frozen solid. Haven't seen the sun in a while. I don't know how much of it we're gonna to get today, but it's nice. I'm gonna fire up the diesel heater. I wonder if I got enough cord to make it down there from here, leaving this thing inside. And I posted that other video. When I was doing this and people just didn't seem to get the, some people didn't seem to get the whole 
idea of like they were like why didn't you just plug it directly into the battery and some of them of those kind of batteries don't put out the 12 volts that you need or the 12 amps they'll only put it on 10 and it won't run it and they, I, so many people got bent out of shape that I was using this instead of just going directly into the battery and I, I know I said it in the video that uh, if I don't need to use a battery, if I could just plug into shore power like I can do here, I was just doing an experiment there, I don't even need the battery. Here I can plug it in, where if I just have a, a cigarette lighter thing that plugs into the, the actual, uh, the, you know, the power station, I'm limited to always using the power station, where here I can do either or. And I tried, you know, copying and pasting the same comment answer <laughs> several times, but yeah that's right i do have these little slits cut down here i had another comment on that video about maybe i needed to make this more rigid like if you had 30 mile an hour winds or whatever but this is almost an inch and a half thick and it's hard for me to fit it in around the window to get it to snap in so i think i'm doing pretty good there but if i ever did have trouble i could put a a stronger piece here but I, I don't know there's no way it's gonna blow out of these three sides maybe on this window side but still it would have to take the whole thing in and it fits in there so tight I don't think that would really happen I have the I must have the heat set on 45 here yeah I do so it's chilly in here but it's a lot colder outside right now than it was when I was testing it so I thought let's fire it up and run it on high and I'd also like to see how long that thing will burn you know how much fuel it uses so let's fire it up I'm gonna go out there and hook that up I don't have my tripod out here so I'm just gonna run out there and hook it up and I'll be right back I got those hooked up plug that in turn that on Use, use my little remote. 5.4. That's as high as it'll go. And then we have the clock timer on there, so that should tell us how long it's running. But if not, it is 11.37 right now. It's starting to push some heat out now. I saw this neat video, or it was a picture actually, and the guy, it was a diesel heater build, and what he did is where the exhaust pipe comes out there, that exhaust comes out, at, I can't remember if it's 200 or 300 degrees, anyway, it's hot. And what he did is he came straight out of the diesel heater, it just only went down, I don't know, six, eight inches, and it went directly into one of those, you know those old cast iron, radiators that they had in houses that would run hot water or whatever through them and heat the rooms from like a central boiler that was down in the basement anyway he ran the exhaust through it in the top and then on the bottom where the bottom like plumbing pipe would be is where the he then ran the exhaust pipe from there out through the wall of the building because this was inside and he said it got hot enough so you couldn't touch it so that all that wasted heat that goes out the exhaust he was then you know um, getting that and using it in the room and I thought that was a pretty neat idea you know you wouldn't do that with one you're gonna portably pull around but if you had it in a room or in a building like that that's a great idea we're already up to 49 degrees I'm gonna turn the fan on though to blow the air around because right now the heater is you know it's on the other wall over there so it's kind of pushing it this direction so I'll turn the fan on to circulate it and let's just let it run today I'll put it on medium yeah it's been running for 11 minutes
Not quite, well it is pretty hot. You could not put your hand against there. I can't imagine if you insulated that pipe. I had other people too that said that you not supposed to have additional pipe on the heater. Uh, I guess that's hard on it or something on the actual, the little heater. And don't add on to the exhaust and they had, you know, for back pressure or something. They're like a hundred dollars, you know, so I think it would take a long time before they burnt up, but we'll see. I like to use things to the extreme and see what they can do. That's enough for now for out in the fish house. I still have about a half hour until lunchtime, so I think I'm going to start the other four-wheeler, hook up the sled, run out there and grab all of those bags. And I think I'm going to pull the taps too, because what if I can't find... You know what I mean? I think I'm going to pull them all and we'll see what happens. And then I'll, I'm not going to take the camera with me though. I'll just meet you back here in the workshop. I have five of them hanging up in here and a couple of those bigger ones had a, like a little pinhole in there probably from transporting them but I don't know what else to do. So I got those inside the rest of them and I just put them inside pots and I can start boiling that stuff down once that thaws and then this stuff should thaw and I can add it to it but it'll be quite a few hours before I can start any of that. I'm going to go in and have lunch now, it's a quarter after 12. It's been running probably three hours now. Not quite a quarter tank has been burned. I'm just going to let it keep going. I bought those pork steaks yesterday and I kind of want to cook them up tonight because tomorrow morning I got to run Brandon to the hospital for a, what is it, a, some kind of a scan and then I'm not sure when we'll get back to it. I think, that's, I think it's around 10 or 11 or something. Anyway, I wanted to do these on an open fire so to speak because I haven't had a pork steak cooked over wood probably since deer hunting so that's been almost three months so I'm gonna fire this thing up and I want to let it run for a while though and get some coals you know hour two hours whatever and burn this for a while and then I can cook those steaks right on top of the grill Melissa's texting me she just got to her hotel room in Sykeston Missouri and I think she was just going to order some food and relax. I think she drove about nine hours today. I'm hoping the wind dies down. If you guys haven't seen this before, I, I use it up at the tent. And it's uh, one of them smokeless fire pits. Once it gets going and those gases burn again. It's really weird how, how cool that is, how, how the smoke gets burnt up. Melissa's texting me like crazy now that she's finally in her room. Annie hasn't drank any water today and hasn't peed the whole entire day. She's really nervous. This is her first trip away from home. So she, I mean, this is the first time that she's actually even seen other people except for us and 
the male person through the window. So she's seen other people, hearing traffic and stuff. She's just never heard any of that. She's pretty nervous. Melissa said she just like always has to be right by her side. I'm just gonna let that burn. Get a nice bed of coals in there. Seven hours and 24 minutes. 76 degrees. I just put two more pieces of wood on there, but I'm getting a really nice bed of coals. I think I'll put that grate on here pretty quick and let that burn off and another half hour or so I should be able to throw the stakes on. Got the pork steaks all seasoned up. I've got a load of laundry in right now. I've got some sap right here that's heating up. I'm only get maybe an hour and a half of boil tonight, maybe two hours, but it's a start. Over here, they're still melting, and then all the ones that are out in the workshop are still melting. Having this cover over it really helped a lot. When I cooked on it up at the tent, I didn't have the cover so you couldn't control the heat. I mean, that totally put out the fire, you know, just like it does with charcoal. I don't have the flames shooting up against it. They look really good. I was going to make fried potatoes tonight, but instead I'm just gonna do a thing of macaroni and cheese. It's quicker and tomorrow I can fry up some potatoes. According to the thermometer, it's 550 degrees in there. Oh man, do they look good. I'm thinking they're done. I just did chores and filled up the boiler. I think I'll leave this for running at 50, stopping at 55. Let's see, even with the top open, oh, with the top open, it's showing it at almost 600 degrees. I'm gonna go in and check what the temperature is out here, and then let's go out and Look at that diesel heater one more time tonight. 100%. Still running. I can't really see the fuel down there, so let's just say she's about empty. I can tell you this much, it's warm in here. It's been going for 10 hours and 39 minutes. So I don't know, we're gonna get 11 hours maybe. 81 degrees in here. 20, what was it, 22 outside. 
what I should do is fill it up right now and put it on low and see how many hours that goes but let it go all the way overnight so that I otherwise this video is going to go on for days Yeah, it's got maybe a quarter to a half inch in that bottom so I would say 11 hours on high I don't know if I have enough diesel to fill this thing up I think somebody said this holds 1.2 gallons. I think I might have that much in here. I don't know. So we're at 10.43, but we had 12 or 13 minutes to add to that. 53, we'll just say around 11 hours, like I said. And now, that was on the highest, 5.4. And I'm going to go all the way down right there to 1.7. So we're at 1.7 and 10 hours and 44 minutes. So we just got to have to remember 10.44. And I will let that run all night. We'll check it tomorrow and see how many hours it runs on low. And then we should be able to figure out, you know, what it would run on medium or whatever. And then I can finally end this video. So we put it on low at when it said 1044. And that was about one minute ago. 931 at night. And right now it's 80 degrees in here. I have the heat is still on, but it's set at forty-five degrees, so it's not coming on. Oh look at you, full of energy. Joni! Oh, there she is. Good morning, everybody. It's about 7.30 in the morning right now. Things been running all night. Hasn't quite burned a, well, maybe a quarter tank. So it said 10.44 last night. Now it says... 2047, so about 10 hours. Quarter tank, and what do we got for a temp in here? 61 degrees. I forgot to look and see how what the temperature is outside. According to my phone, it's 22 degrees. I'll look inside and see how close that is. Well, I've got this thing here showing 21.2. I've already showered and everything and I don't know, hour, hour and a half. I got to bring uh, Brandon to the hospital and then I'll be back, I suppose, a little bit before noon. Melissa just made it down to Louisiana. It's about 4.30 in the afternoon and Annie is going to be glad to get out of that car. She didn't pee for until today, this afternoon, so a full two days. And she finally did this afternoon. She started whining and Melissa pulled over. Stressed out dog, but it looks like she was having a good time anyway. I want to check that diesel heater. It's been almost 19 hours it's been running now. Sixty-three degrees. It's twenty-seven degrees outside. 
Okay, everyone. Well, thanks a lot for watching. I think I'm going to end this one right now. I'm going to do a totally separate video on the diesel heater run times because a lot of people will search for that. And why would they want to go through hour long videos to figure that out? I still have the maple sap in there slowly simmering on the stove. And I've got quite a bit more of that yet to do. So yeah, I think I'll end this one now. Tomorrow, I'm gonna to start out in the guest house doing some taping. We'll continue on with the maple sap, so stay tuned. I will see you guys on the next video.